I'm going to let out a secret about Indian people. For all the people here, or all the people watching, whoever, wherever you are. If you're not Indian, this is a message to you on behalf of all Indian people. I hope my brown people don't get upset that I'm letting out our secret. <laughs> but just so you guys know, Indian people are fully aware of what their accent sounds like. We don't actually need you. We know exactly what it sounds like. We know it's not the coolest accent in the world, you know? You're never going to see two Indian guys in a club standing around going, Hey man, aren't we cool? Don't, don't we sound really hip? We are going to meet all the bitches tonight. I'm pimping. You know, it's not going to happen, you know? We know what it sounds like, you know? And don't think for one minute that we don't know that you're mocking us when we're not around. It's an accent. We're not deaf. Don't think when we walk into Home Depot and go, hello, I'm looking for paint. Yeah, it's right down that aisle over there, sir. Hey, Jim, did you hear that guy? He's looking for paint. 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 Hey, let's go have a cigarette and talk like this for half an hour. We know you're doing it, you bastards. But any people know what their accent's good for and what it's not good for. We know its limitations. And I mean, we know it's not good for, for getting laid. It's not going to help you. Hello, baby. Nothing's going to happen for you. But you know what the Indian accent is good for? Cutting tension. You got a tense situation, pop in the Indian accent. Tension's gone. Picture a serious courtroom drama. <laughs> Your Honor, my client would like to plead guilty. <laughs> Tension's gone.